living and non-living things. What will we learn? We will learn about the following concepts in this lesson. Living and non-living things. Natural and man-made things. Let's get started. Navya's dog is running from one place to another, but her teddy bear is not moving at all. This confuses her. Let's find out what her mother tells her. Navya, why are you so confused? Mummy, my dog moves around, but my teddy bear does not. Oh dear, that's because dog is a living thing, but teddy bear is a non-living thing. What are living and non-living things? Let's learn about them. Living and non-living things Living things have life in them. Plants, animals and human beings are living things. Non-living things do not have life in them. Chair, fan and television are some non-living things. Living things move on their own. Living things need air, water and food. Living things breathe. Living things feel. Living things grow. Living things produce more of their kind. Non-living things cannot move on their own, eat food, feel, grow, breathe and produce more of their kind. Navya, now I'll tell you about natural and man-made things. Oh, that would be great! Natural and man-made things Non-living things can be natural and man-made. Natural things like sun, moon, rocks and water are found in nature. Man-made things like chair, car, train, clothes, books and paper are made by man. Navya, I hope now you are clear about how living things are different from non-living things. You will also be able to tell the differences between living and non-living things. What have we learned? Living things move on their own, need air, water and sunlight, breathe, feel, need food to grow, and produce more of their kind. Non-living things do not show features of living things. Things present in nature are called natural things. Things made by man are called man-made things. Children, hope you enjoyed learning the concepts. We will meet soon to learn new things.